this life that we think we're living is a failure of the imagination. It's too small for us. It's not who we are. That when we let go of our life, which is what we do when we're compassionate, we're feeling someone else's feeling. We're taking that in. We're willing to take that in fully as ourselves. Our life expands. When we let go of our self-concern, let go of our definition of ourselves as someone over here in the corner, a small person who has to hold on to everything that he's got, lest he be diminished. When we live like that, we're not ourselves. We're not actually ourselves. When we let go into the life of another person, into the life of meeting, in the moment of meeting, when we let go into the sound of the bird, let go into someone that we care about and really, really care for them, not think, well, you're there for me, but just really care from their side. Then we really have our true life and our life is bigger and happier and more joyful. And that's the paradox of compassion. It's really a paradox. We are feeling pain. We are feeling suffering. And it makes us happy. It's a, it really is a paradox. We are conditioned to think we have to protect ourselves from suffering. We have to make it go away somehow. But when we let go of that smallness and allow ourselves to, to care, even in the case of the suffering of another, we have joy. It's really odd, isn't it? It's, it could be that the way that we think of our lives is the opposite of the way our lives really are. And, and it's paradoxically pain, our own or the pain of another, that allows us to see that and to be liberated from the greatest tyrant of all, oneself, right? Oneself. 